Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we're doing something a little different and discussing Animal Crossing's 20th anniversary and what this could mean for New Horizons. It's definitely a fun one, so without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So on April 14th, 2021, the Animal Crossing franchise turns 20 years old, which is just unbelievable. On April 14th, 2001, Dabutsu Nomori, or Animal Forest as it's commonly translated to, was released on the N64 in Japan. This was the first installment of Animal Crossing before an enhanced version was re-released later the same year on GameCube. This pretty much set the bar for real-time life sim games and paved the way for Animal Crossing New Horizons 20 years later. Now much like the recent Mario and Zelda anniversaries, it seems like too big of a milestone not to celebrate it. So what could this mean for New Horizons? Well, Animal Crossing New Horizons turned one less than a month ago, and despite high hopes of a significant update with new characters and new features that, in theory, would bring Animal Crossing New Horizons to version 2.0, we received an update consistent with the monthly and seasonal updates we've been getting since launch. In case you missed it, the update added a bunch of awesome seasonal events for April, as well as the Sanrio villages and their furniture, so it could be argued the update was bigger than most. With that said, the only acknowledgement of the first anniversary of New Horizons was this adorable anniversary cake. But of course, you can't have your cake and eat it. So this has left the Animal Crossing community wondering, will Animal Crossing New Horizons ever see a big update with new features, new furniture sets, and of course, some fan favorite characters returning to the game? Well, a popular theory circulating in the community right now is that a significant update is on the horizons and that instead of updating the game for its first birthday, we'll see a mysterious 2.0 update on its 20th. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who would welcome this. Now, whether or not this large update comes around the 20th anniversary of the initial release or sometime later, what could we see added to New Horizons? Well, one of the most obvious choices for Nintendo to bring back to Animal Crossing for its 20th anniversary would be Tortima. For those that don't know, he is of course the original mayor and was dedicated to hosting events long before Isabel took over. Sadly, his role has diminished over the years to the point of being completely removed from New Horizons, but maybe he will return one way or another. Of course, should Tortima return, it only makes sense to see Tortima's island return too. This was of course New Leaf's local tropical island resort and the center of all multiplayer mini-games. Essentially, you could head to the island with or without friends and take part in a bunch of mini-games for fun or competitively and earn in-game medals which could later be exchanged for prizes. The island resort feature as a whole was an excellent aspect of Animal Crossing and actually gave you something to do when friends visited. With this in mind, Tortima's Island Resort, or some variation of it, along with some new mini-games, would be an excellent candidate for New Horizons 2.0 update. Essentially, the mechanics for visiting islands from Dodo Airlines and Island Tours already exist. Plus, I don't know if you've noticed, but the airport has eight seats. Seeing eight player mini-games added to New Horizons isn't that far-fetched. Now, another obvious feature to add to New Horizons, especially in honor of the 20th anniversary celebrations of the game, would be Cap'n and his sailboat. For years, Cap'n has taken us back and forth between tropical islands as far back as the original. He's even avoided a whale or two along the way. He's cute, popular, and provides the perfect mechanic to travel between our existing island and something new, maybe even a new island. I mean, he also has a giant family that could be used for a number of things later down the line too. So having Cap in return to sail us to a new location wouldn't be unrealistic. Plus, did I mention we have a dock that's practically unused to this day? Just remember, the secret beach was unused once upon a time too. Anyway, it's super easy to speculate and hope for various features to return, but if there is a significant update coming soon, maybe it'll be focused around something new entirely, much like how terraforming is brand new to Animal Crossing. Theories, rumors, and community hopes aside, I'm pretty sure we'll continue to see regular updates to New Horizons over the coming years, and we'll definitely see our beloved fan favorites return eventually. Will this be for the 20th anniversary or a 2.0 update? Who knows? But what do you think? Will we see a significant update soon or will we just get small updates for May in a few weeks? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. 
Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe, as I'll be uploading a bunch of new Horizons news as and when it happens. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too, and of course, if you made it to the end of the video, please comment cap in just to let me know you did. That would be super awesome, and please be sure to include which features, old or new, you want to see and to new horizons i'd love to know anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining please be sure to leave a like if you did thanks for watching i hope you have an amazing day stay safe and i'll see you in my next video peace